Hey everyone, it's me, the Senile Simmer. Today we are doing Sims 3. We're doing the Riches to Rags Wishes Challenge. We are back with the Schofield family. This is the Sims 3 Riches to Rags Wishes Edition. So what we have to do is we can only control them based on their wishes. And we're trying to get rid of all their money. We started out with a million simoleons and a house worth uh, 500,000. We now are down to uh, about 500,000 and a house worth 241. So we are about halfway there. Yeah, we're, we are about halfway there. And so we're going to continue. We have Mandy, who is the... Uh, second generation. She's almost an elder. She has uh, four more days. We have Percy, who uh, never ages up. Percy is Mandy's best friend robot um, slash lover slash father of her child, Abigail. And Abigail uh, wants to be a perfect student and get a, uni a university degree with a perfect GPA. So that's what she wants to do. She's working on her fine arts degree. Yeah, that's what she's doing. And little Sage, the same equestrian angler. That's a crazy combination. That's our family. Let's see what everybody wants to do. He still wants to blow up some more stuff, but you know what? He's broken right now. Can you fix him? Well, he's fixed. What is he doing? Don't know what he's doing. It's going to go berserk. Why? Why is he going berserk? I don't even know. He's going to play a game. I'm going to say we need to... He broke something, got broke. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, you don't get to smash, Percy. You are going to come over here and make many widgets and then we'll blow them up when you're done. She, I don't know what she wants to do. She wants to read a book about painting. Do we have one? No, we have that. We just put that in our inventory. Do we have a book about painting? That's logic. Let's put that in there. Why do I have goldfish? I don't know. Why do she have goldfish? Skill of writing. Skill of gardening. Let's shop for books. Abigail, here we go, buy that, and then have you come home and read the book. We are focusing on Abigail now that she's a young adult. Once she has got her needs up, I'm going to send her back to college. He wants to blow up the dishwasher. Yes, please. She wants to buy another water slide. We keep buying them. He keeps blowing them up. It's great. Construction equipment needed reward simoleons. Nope. Oh, no. The repo man's coming. Hooray. I mean, too bad. That's so sad. Where is he? I want to see what he steals or what he takes. Are you the repo man? I don't think you are. No, you're the gardener. That's the repo man. Oh, good. Thing on the wall. Really? My brain enhancer. How dare. And a picture on the wall. My goodness, he's... Uh, no. He's going upstairs again? What? They took my Eevee. How dare you? How dare? 
Well, we'll replace all that stuff. No big deal. Um, Percy, I kind of, you wanted to blow up the dishwasher. Did you do it? I don't think you did. No. Blow up the dishwasher. Awesome. Can you put out the fire? We knew this was going to happen. Okay. Replace that. Collect that. Collect that. Oh, he's how happy. Collect that. Collect that. He's very happy with himself. Go blow these up now. Detonate that. That. Three. Four. And five. Percy has completed, pause, quick pause. Percy has completed the diabolical detonator challenge and now can detonate for less, find more scrap, and escape finds more ease. Well, darn. I didn't want him to get bonuses. Oh, does Percy want to talk? Sure. All right, let's replace some things that got blowed up, okay? Let's start in the kitchen. Okay, so that's all set. The brain enhancing machine. Okay, so we replaced everything that was either stolen or broken or whatever. Abigail. Time for college. Goodbye, family. Yeah, let's go there for now. Go there this this time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 and Tuesday and Thursday at 12. No problem. What room do I want to claim for her? So we're off to the meet and greet at the student union. I'm just gonna, she's going to play some video games. She'd like to try and get a free item from the vending machine. We tried this before and it didn't work. Okay. Okay, we got her item. Great, she just got her picture taken. Do it again. We'll play some more video games. Let's go. Although I don't expect it'll be great. Well, we're here. It's a formal attire. Nope. I don't want it. All right. Go home. You went to the party. Go home. That's not your bed. This is your bed. What time is class? Four hours from now. I do allow myself to control her when she's at college because she has this aspiration that she wants to be a perfect student. There's no way she can do that if she's uh, not controlled. And this always overrides everything else. Oh, hurry up. She's a little bit late. But not too bad. All right, what is she going to do when she gets home? She's going to talk to Tiberius. Take a shower. Can you practice a speech and maybe get that uh, charisma skill you want? All right, she's gone up to go to bed. When she gets up, go to the bathroom. Now go get something to eat. Let's have bread and jam for breakfast today. Now go work on that skill of painting. Well, her skill went up, but boy, that did not increase her uh, studying very much. So we're going to stop that. And how about we 
we study that book. Where'd it go? Let's study that. You're not hungry. Study hard. How long? You have eight hours before class starts. You'll be fine. Practice sketching. Okay, somebody thinks she's hot. Class starts in three hours. She's playing video games. Take a shower. Go to the bathroom. Apparently she's going to class. We'll, we'll pee when we get home. No sleeping. Attend lecture. Ask question. Take notes. Ask another question. Okay, class is over. And she's going home. Go to the bathroom. Uh, work on your painting. All right, we're doing really well on our studying, so hopefully we'll get another A. That'd be great. So we got our morning all planned out. <clears throat> she's going to sleep, and she's going to go pee. Then she's going to grab some cereal. Probably should get up. Because if you have time, you should take a shower. And then we'll start a new painting, keeping our eye on the clock. Go to class. And she's late again. After class, we'll do a little sketching and also study our book. Oh, always study hard if you're going to study. And then go home. All right, when she gets home, it's time to call for a maid. Uh, grab a plate. Oh, you ate that crap. You're so gross. Never mind. Go to bed. Actually, can you just nap instead of actually sleeping? And then continue that painting? No, I don't want to go to a party. When you're done painting, you can go to sleep. Is she painting? Okay. You have six hours to class. So, get up. Go to the bathroom. Take a shower. Go get some breakfast. And work on your painting. All right, you got your painting skill up. Now what? Level five painting. Good for her. She's going to have a little conversation with her dorm mates. Do the school cheer. And go to the Thomas School of Art for her class. Oh, street art level three. She wants to tag a wall. Improve her painting skill. Class is over. She's going to go home and wait to go do her final. She's in good shape. She should have no problem getting an A. Let's come work on your paint and um, finish up that painting. That one I like. It's an eagle. Very nicely done. That one is no good. Don't know what that is. That one I kind of like. Have a microwave meal. Then we'll go to the bathroom. And then we'll go to bed. You can get up. Do a little painting. Abigail's on the Dean's List. That's good. Go to class. Go take your final. Passed with flying colors. And she's going home. I'm going to have a little fun. Then we're going to have her go to the bathroom. Take a shower, do a paint, finish work on that painting, take a nap, take a second nap. Leftover mac and cheese? Is there a leftover mac and cheese? Not by the time she gets to it. Maybe. Work on that painting some more and then actually go to sleep. Right, she's going to get up. Oh, there we go. Another A. Let's have um, some ice cream. She wants to buy a street art kit. Oh, you're playing tag. I was like, what are you doing? Play hacky sack. With uh, Gerard. All right, we're going home. Bye. See you next semester. I will go ahead and save and quit when I get home. And we'll see you next time. Bye.
Well, that's going to do it until next time. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I do appreciate you watching. If you've got a moment, there's a video down below, maybe two. Take a moment, look through, see what interests you, and give it a watch. In the meantime, I hope to see you all next time. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.